Everybody hold on to your dicks. And the bitch is back. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Looking fat, girl. Stacy, are those legs new? From a hippopotamus? <laughs> oh my God, Claudette. You're pregnant again, darling. You're not? Well, someone should tell your belly that. <laughs> Fuck all you sluts, all right? You got me fired last time. Turned into a little hobgoblin with little hobgoblin hands. I'm not having it. I'm here to stay, bitches. And I'm here, and I'll be honest, since last episode, when I was dead set on the boggart, I've had a change of mind, I think. I think I've had a change of mind. I thought boggart because I had nothing else that I could put. And then I had a little think about it. Stair slug seems to be a really good fit. Now let's think about it. Uh, large dog-sized slugs. He said that it was like a dog, uh, about the size of his dog. They occupy stairwells and basements, exactly where he's fucking found it. The only thing that threw me was he didn't mention slimy residue, but he hasn't gone in the basement. He mentioned that too. I think it has to be a stair slug, all right? It's called David. Hello, David. You're still there? Really? It's been at least... Oh, it's been about a week, David. You're still there? Yeah, David, unfortunately, it appears that you have something called a... Stair slug. Yep, just trying to scroll down my little scroll wheel here. Your stair slug. No, not like a garden slug. No, no, no. No, not a, not a slug that looks you in the eyes for too long. Okay? It wouldn't be that. It wouldn't be a stair slug, now would it? That wouldn't make any sense at all. No, David, it's the slug that sleeps on your stairs. Yes, they can be quite large. Okay, good luck with it. Bye-bye. I'll send him some extra large pesticides. And a body bag because he is going to die. Ooh, next caller. Hurry up. Home safety hotline where sluts are in. Hey, uh... Oh, hello, I Peter. There's some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it can Mm-hmm. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it. Along with this, uh, nasty Ooh. smell. Oh, <laughs> can you say uh like that again, please, Peter? Uh. Uh. It, it does what, Peter? It makes this uh nasty smell, does it? It goes uh. Right, I'm just going to put you on hold for two seconds. I'm pretty sure I know what this is, but it doesn't hurt to check, does it? Okay, I'll be right back, Pete. But I guess give me Peter. Peter. Just one second, Peter, all right? Okay, Pete, just give me one second. Please hold. Okay, now this is something to do with either the pipes or it's a hob. Let's have a look. So pipe growth, uh, clogged pipe, loud bubbling digestive noises. Doesn't mention a smell, though. That's sort of worrying. That's a, yeah, no, it's a little worrying there, Pete. Yeah. Yeah, let's have a look. Where was the, um, was it like a sink hob? Common hob, desk hob. God, this is a terrible user interface. I wish I could just type and search, you know? Uh, black mold, bogger, become monoxide, carbonary ants, fucking cellar grades, cockroaches, common hobs. Where is it? Uh, maybe I'm too, oh wait, pipe hob? Oh, it was a pipe hob. I thought it was like a sink hob. Inside pipes, the Benefrost face, uh, they will commonly emerge from the home at night. Okay, it's... I don't think it's a pipe hob. Stair slide, teeth, sprite termites, ticks, toilet hobs. What does the toilet hob do? Does he smell? Has he got a pongy whiff? They bear false faces. They have two separate concepts here of size. Must have to clean the home. See, it's not a hob. It's not cleaning anything. No, 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 no. Couldn't be a whistling. There was no sound. Although it did make a noise, but it was a groaning, wasn't it? Nasty sound. It's coming from pipes. That is interesting. 
It's not a pipe hop. Stop going back to pipe hop. I think it might be a pipe growth. Because it's making it... It's making it whiffy. Is the only thing. I think it... I think it kind of has to be. Cockroaches. Um... Yep, I feel good about it. Um... Peter? You still there, Peter? Yeah, unfortunately it does look like you have a pipe growth from the looks of it. Yes, I understand that none of your pipes are enlarged. Unfortunately, I don't know what else it could be. Well, if you could give me some better symptoms, I'll be able to help you out. But since you're a rude little bitch, bye bye Um, bye? Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Jesus Christ, I don't mind fucking telling you right now, it is fucking hot in this room. I am fucking ripping. It's like midsummer in Australia, and it's like been raining a little bit today, just enough to make it humid as fuck. It is, I am breathing heavy in this room. But that's not the point of today. The point of today is to help people. That's what we do here at Home Safety Hotline. We help everybody that needs it. Excluding you, you rude person. No, I'm just joking. Hello, Home Safety Hotline. We help everyone, even the fatties. My wife. I can't. Her face. It's gone. It's gone. My wife. I can't see her face. I can't see her face. She did it. I can't see her face. Oh god, it's all gone. Quaid, I'm gonna need you to shut the fuck up because you're scaring me right now. Also, if your wife's dead, she's likely buried. That's why you can't see her face. Go dig her up, you lazy sod. Just put you on hold for one second. I'll be right back. Bye. Please hold. Um, did anything steal people's faces? Let's think. Was it the... Did the fucking mirror... People steal faces? Uh, maybe he's just like lost his eyes. Mirror Nymph? Do they steal faces? Stealing the likeness of homeowners. Yep, I fucking knew it! Because I read up. Because I got smarter. Because I got fired and I don't want to happen again. Hello, Qua Quaid. Quaid, stop crying. You sound like a bitch, okay? And I don't help bitches, you understand? Okay, now you have a mirror nymph. See, so what you're gonna wanna do with that is just wait for it to go away. Okay, don't break the mirror, Quaid. You'll get seven years bad luck. <laughs> It'll also eat your soul, so probably, probably avoid that. All right, Quaid? 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 Oh, Quaid died, unfortunately, yeah. He was just a little bit too much of a wussy, and he couldn't deal with the stress. Sound like anyone else I know? Oh, me when I have to take the kids for the weekend. Ugh, am I right? Just because I'm major doesn't mean I want to look after you, you little shits. But that alimony money is mm, 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 delicious, especially when I spend it on a little pool boy named Ricardo. Ooh. Home safety hotline. Is this Ricardo? Mm -hmm. Carol, shut the fuck up! You serious? I've been giving good answers. Inaccurate. I urge you to think more carefully on the answers you provide. Have I not been giving good fucking answers? Carol, shut the fuck up! If you fire me again, I fucking quit. All right? I think I've been giving pretty good fucking answers, especially considering how hot this fucking room is. Hello, home safety hotline. This room's fucking hot as shit. Okay, yeah, Peter was almost definitely fucking wrong. Thanks a lot for wasting my time. Do it. Was it just a fucking pipe? Could it have been just a pipe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't like this job anymore. These people are too fucking needy. I need them to shut the fuck up. I can't deal with this stress right now. I want to go home and have a little drinky poos. A little whoop, 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 because I'm a wine mum, okay? Hello, is this wine delivery? Oh boy, Fred Pimble! I'm going to lodge a complaint against your place of business. 
Yes, Fred Pinball. Sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. Now, <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do to make this right? Well, if you've got drawers full of sawdust, I've got a little vacuum cleaner in my bedroom. Maybe we could, uh, vacuum it up, you know what I mean? I'll call you back, Fred. Bye. Bye. Fucking bitch. Well, I think we're doing pretty fucking well. I don't know what Carol's fucking bitching about. If you get like two wrong, it looks like you get fired straight away. It's a pretty fucking low bar. All right, no wait. Other way around. It's a pretty fucking high bar. All right. Hello, home safety hotline. High bars are our speciality, apparently. Uh, hi. Hello, Harv. What uh, do I do for ya? I have no idea what's happening. <gasps> We know exactly what this is. We know exactly what this is. Not getting fired today. We know exactly what this is. If you're asking if you need to shower more, you definitely fucking do, Harv. Now, showering more is definitely something you should consider, but also consider getting a new fucking bed. <gasps> Our Wi Fi is. Down! Too bad we're fucking geniuses and we already used bed teeth as a gag. Um, hello, Harvey? Yeah, this is an absolute fucking genius on the line here. You have bed teeth, mate? Yep. Looks like someone's not getting fired today, am I right? Maybe I'm getting fired up, getting ready to take it up Carol's fuck. Oh, you gone? You gone? Hello? I feel, I feel lonely in this room. I don't, hello? Oh dear. It appears he's gone. Oh well, back to work. What's the audio sample sound like? Oh wait, we don't have any because we're stuck with that internet. Doesn't that just feel like an Australian dream? Um, or does that mean we also don't get calls anymore? Oh, no, of course. The phone lines are still up. Home safety hot one, the phone lines are still up. Quaid! There's no fucking way that was wrong. Unless Quaid just has fucking Alzheimer's. It, it was, it was perfect. It was beautiful. Hang on, where is it? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Uh, how much of a dickhead is Quaid after all? Uh, very much mirror affected how many can restore the likeness by catching the mirror and from breaking his mirror with an iron implement. That's what I told him! Hello, home safety hotline. That's what I fucking told him. Hello. Hello, Wanda. Ooh, you're a. About my problem. You're a saucy looking the wall girl. In my bedroom doesn't look great near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks. <gasps> we know what this is. We are sure. fucking smart. We are learning here. Cause we are fucking beasts. He likes to sharpen his claws at the couch, but he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. Mm mm. I don't know how naughty you can be, Wanda. <laughs> Maybe I'll come around and watch uh, some Netflix with you. We can watch WandaVision. <laughs> oh, that's Disney Plus. Okay, Wanda. Well, you can go on hold for a second, all right? I'm just... I'm just over you. Okay, now that is a motherfucking fracture hob. Well, we don't need to look for it. We know what it is. Wanda? Yeah, yeah. Remember how you were being all funny and telling me to go fuck myself? Um, hang on. How does the alphabet work? Fracture hob. There it is. Yeah, you got a fracture hob. So what you're gonna want to do is, um... Uh, well, I was looking at mirror nymphs. Sorry. Uh, you're gonna want to stab it in the eye with the eye of a needle. Okay? I don't know how that works, but good luck. Bye-bye. Also, if you don't do it and complain to me, I'm gonna be fucking pissed off, alright? No complaining. Bye, Wanda. Bye. She's a good girl. At her heart, she's a good girl. She just gets a bit... You know how it is, a bit of... You know how it is. You understand. Is that the end of my fucking work day yet or not? Jesus Christ, I can't take any more fucking calls. 
I'm gonna get fired. Home safety hotline, please don't be firing me. Gary, you fucking bitch, what do you want? Gonna be on the text box, Gary. Hold on. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house and you figure it out now. Gary, Gary, raising your voice isn't gonna help the situation any, okay? I'm just gonna have to put you on hold for a minute, Please okay? Hold. And I'm gonna put you on hold until the next episode, guys, because that's the end of this one. Whew. It's been a fucking, it's been a quite the work day, all right? But I feel like we're making good progress. I feel like we've, we've learned a lot. We got a lot right. We fucking get like one wrong and then we fucking on border of getting fired, which is bullshit. Uh, but until next time, guys, please remember that I love you all very much. And I very much hope to see you in the next episode where I guess Gary's going to fucking have some sort of hob or something in his house. We'll work out what it is. Uh, all right, guys. Catches. That's it. We're done.